Right, morning. Fun stuff this morning. Foot trimming. Especially for Millie's mum. She wanted to see that. Not really a sentence I thought I'd ever say, but there you are. Cows all milked, just washing through. So the hot wash is currently going round. So I've got five or six minutes to come and have a look at the feet. Very overgrown. Right, I'm running around like a lunatic just doing the washing and stuff. Um, Rob and Abby are doing the feet, so I'm going to go back and help them now. But I've got a few bonus clips that Millie and the kids took the other day, so we'll put those in now. That bit should be green if it's making noise. Oh, that's nice. That's, that means the mic's on. Is it filming already? Yeah. As I'm talking about it. <laughs> How do I stop it? So, this is a shout out for Mrs. JM Farming, who has bought us the most delicious Mars bar. Oh my goodness, it just broke so I picked it up. I can, I'm not used to this. Oh, look at that. Delightful. Thank you, Mrs. JM Farming. And now, to see what these guys really get up to when they're working. I feel like this needs a zoom feature because I feel like I'm gonna have to walk really far to show you what they're up to. Da -da -da -da. Josh's new job role is actually glorified childcare. <laughs> yeah. So he's practicing on the children before carving starts. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to JM Farming fans? No? <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to JM Farming fans. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Pip! Hello! 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 Where's Rocky? Where's Rocky? Put your tummy away! Have you made a big concoction in there? Why is it filled with soil? That's with two children. Team meeting? That's. <laughs> That's why it's filled with soil, they decided to pick up all the lumps around. Let's explain the hierarchy of the farm. So we've got fourth in command, third in command, second in, co second in command in the burgundy, and first in command of the two little ones just there. The real bosses. The dictators. <laughs> Did you have a nice day at nursery? Oh, sorry, I'm busy. Ruby, what did Josh bring you? Did he bring you some new t-shirts? What colour are they? And do you love them? Um, Oscar's going to go and find Mrs JM Farming has made us a Mars bar brownie. It is stunning. Alright, we're coming. Can you hear him shouting? Treats! You can have a go. I want to have it. For four minutes? No, don't fight over the camera. Right, what are you going to show everyone then, Rubes? Hello. Hello. Will you put this one on then? No, nope, stop. And then you can talk into it. Sing us a song. Hello. You want to hold it? Yes. <laughs> Do you know who made your chocolate brownie? Yeah. Say Abby. Abby. Say thank you, Abby. Thank you, Abby. Good boy. Also, what does everyone reckon to my Damon Hetta moustache? My wife hates it, which is quite funny, but she really hates it. In for a pedicure. She level? Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too yeah. bad. <laughs> take that, I'll take that. It's probably something to do with a backup camera. Isn't it? Right, Count. Things are about to happen. 
tone. Yes, that is a longer tone. Don't do that. I'm a longer person. Last cow in the cross. That's the last. Yes, the best one. For the chicken. <laughs> Lovely bit of moulding. Bit of towing. Cut the toe back. Part of the old ulcer. Oh, yeah. I'll have a look at the other side. What have you found? <laughs> Hell of a stone. Look at that bad boy. Josh's car? Yeah, we yeet. Fuck, that one in the roof. That's a vital hole. More stone. Is there more in there? Yeah, look. I'll get the knife on it. Do the knife. No, panic over. Got it. Look at that. Car. That was a beat. Josh's car? <laughs> <laughs> Come straight back. <laughs> you couldn't hit that water pipe if you tried. I'm too strong. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> on. Don't know my own strength. <laughs> right, that's my down. Yeah, yeah that, that must be it. Knife it is. Knife job. Ooh, is that the right knife? Lane. Disinfected in the bucket of disinfectant. Uh, you can go to the other side if you want. Might see more. Don't wanna... I love it. Rob's invested in the camera. Well, I expect this is the crater from her ulcer that she had, is it? It's I appreciate Packed full of stones. what's happened. So that's why I carried on grinding. I was like, yes. oh, no, stones. this does not feel right. <laughs> there we are. There's all the old ulcers yeah. in there, like you said. Stones. Just buried right in. Slicing. Look how sharp those knives are. And these knives are very sharp, <laughs> but the cow's feet are so, <laughs> so hard. hard that it just makes it look blunt. <laughs> Definitely not the other way around, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah it's brand new can, <laughs> yes. Get on there for luck. Yeah. <laughs> Staging a dirty protest. Okay, Abby, you're right on the, right the woof. That's it. Hand out if you can. <laughs> we never saw Abby's hand again. Whip them off with a knife. Well, this is proper tape. Foot trimming tape. Yeah, vet wrap. Yeah. Foot trimming tape. <laughs> I think it's got it's a... celic acid or whatever. <laughs> Is that a, is that a yeah, I don't yeah, know. I can't say the word. Yeah, that, that acid in it. We have copper sulfate for a bit of fun. <laughs> it looks like the stuff people put on bales, but you know, looks can be deceiving. Well done, Cal. Oh. Right, feet all done. We just had our breakfast. Rob's dad's had this tractor and the little tanker this morning and just sucked a bit of slurry out of the pit that's um, sort of come through forward from the sand. But we've only got the one tractor here at the minute, the other one's off at the garage being serviced. I'm going topping, so we're going to take the tanker off. Hoo-yah! Whilst I think about it, I ought to explain the moustache. So, I played darts on a Thursday night, and I'm a big fan of a darts player called Damon Hetter. Now, I'll put a picture of Damon Hetter on the screen now. Uh, he's the Australian number one, and everyone says I look a little bit like him, with the haircut and the glasses. So I thought I'd go the whole hog with the moustache he's currently got on, and uh, yeah, so now I have this skin fade and a moustache. And to say my wife hates it would be an absolute understatement. I mean, she really hates it. But I think it's quite fun. I might even go as far to call it tasteful. Anyway, let's get started up here. So anyway, we're having breakfast this morning and then... Oh, crikey, that was a bit of a jumpy clutch, Josh. So yeah, I had breakfast this morning and then went up to the house with Rob because um, the cell count results from the milk recording we did um, in the last video. See it or not? I don't know if I filmed any of it. Um, came back and so the next 40 cows we're going to dry off initially we had eight of them to do with um, antibiotic tubes but from the results of milk recording this week or last week turns out there's actually 14 that need doing with antibiotic tubes it was worth waiting for the test results to come back that's for sure sort your life out Josh what's going on here anyway we're hooking up the topper and we're not going topping to go topping we're going to go and trim right around the edge of one field so that we can put up a fence, so that we can see what we're doing when we put up a fence. We're topping! We are at some ground that we keep the young heifers on. And as you might be able to see, 
there are quite a few docks. I'll get out when we get around that side and show you. Basically, all these red stringy things are getting obliterated by the topper. It won't kill them, they will grow back, but it tidies it up. So this is a rented farm. We're actually just down from Ramfield, all of those people that know Ramfield. This field was described to me as the field with the crush in. There's a, there's a crush in the corner, so yeah, that's what it says. And then once I'm done in here, we're going out to that lovely green one there, where we made some bales. And we just need to top one lap around the field, tight to the hedge. Now this topper, you can put it out wider on the spool to sort of get it in under the fence, but um, there's no fence in that field. So we're gonna go tight to the hedge once so that we can come and put up some electric wire. That is the plan. I'm not topping the whole field here, I'm just doing the patches of bad dogs. So like, I mean, there's a couple of ones over there, but in the middle there, it's just a sea of dogs. We'll end up topping most of the field, but we don't want to top stuff that we don't need to top, you know what I mean? It'll be silly like that. Lovely job. I've dropped myself back in here. I'm in three two, so I'm doing about eight kilometers an hour. Just because any faster, it doesn't have time to actually cut the docks clean, it sort of just folds them over. It doesn't necessarily do the job we want it to be doing then. I mean, look at this red patch. The calves can't have been that hungry because they haven't eaten them. That's my theory anyway. We'll just get out and show you. So here is a dock. Now, I don't know whether these are the seeds. I don't really know too much about docks, other than they have a thumping great root. But if we try and pull one out here, without breaking it. I mean, it sort of broke, but look at the size of the root on that. So when it's dry, like it is now, docks will continue to thrive. So they can get down and find the moisture. Anyway, here's the topper. You've seen it before. It looks the same as it did last time. But today, we are in the 650 instead of the 680. So this is what I would call Tractor. So one he does the spraying in, and it's the one we changed the wheels on the other day. But yeah, I'm going to do some topping. I'll show you what's going on next door when we get there. I've never been in the field next door, well not that I can remember anyway. Oh yeah, here's the crush. Crush field. Right! There's the field done. I say there's a few odd ones left, but I'm not going chasing the odd dock. Now if we get down low here, and close your eyes and look at the sky, it looks just like a billiards table. Beautiful. Now, that field there is where I've got to go and mow around the fence. I've just come across this, and look. I don't have Wellingtons. I'm gonna go for the old reach around the outside. Oh goodness, I describe this as tacky. It's probably the same word my wife would use to describe my mustache. Right, I thought we were in, but the gate actually goes the other way. How are we gonna get that back later? Sounds like a problem for later on, Josh. I mean, this is only a little bit of fun, really, this whole moustache thing, but it worked wonders last night. So I played two games last night in the summer league that I play in at um, our local pub, Duke of York and Crediton. And they were both tricky games. And the second one in particular, I was under a lot of pressure. Um, I went 2-1 down. We played best of six. It was like first to four, you can draw three all. So I went 2-1 down, and the guy I was playing was left on a finish to get the third leg, which would mean I couldn't win the game. And I chucked in an absolute perler of a 180. And I meant to give it the thing that Damon Hare does. If any of you watch darts, you'll know. He does this thing when he does like a 180. I don't know what it is. But I meant to do that. I thought if I get a 180, I'll do it. And then I was so overcome with the fact that I hit a 180, I just completely forgot. Right, we're in the next field now, going around the outside. Now there is a ditch in here somewhere. And Rob's advice to me about the ditch was, don't go in it. Pretty sound advice, me, but they basically say just getting as tight in as you can without bashing the tractor up on the trees and going in the ditch. So as you can see, we've got the topper in offset mode, so it's pushed as far that way as it can. Just helps get in further without having to get in so tight. So this was mown for first cut, and then we had a second cut of bales off it as well. Oh, actually, the ditch is fair ways away in there. Look. Uh, and now it's a beautiful bit of grass come back for some heifer calves. So we're just going to whip round it so we can put up an electric fence and then the calves can come in. Yeah, I'm just crawling around really slow, making sure I do a good job. Every now and again, there's a little wooden post. It's like used as a strainer, which is quite handy to know how tight you want to get in. So I know they want the fence in against there. I know how tight I've got to get in, just working well. 
right, we're getting out. It's just running down, which is good. Now hopefully I've done a good enough job here. There is a barbed wire fence in behind here somewhere, but um, and then another ditch. And you see I've done a pretty thick line there, nearly the width of the topper to be honest, if brambles cleared out. It all starts dragging on the machine, all that. Probably should have gone over that and mulched it, but oh well. Before I head off home, just got a folding mirror back out. It felt like it was going to get smashed, so I folded it in. Oh, 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 oh. Cam's here, that's any good. Right on top of it. Probably ought to look and see if I've gathered anything I shouldn't have. I don't think so. Right, homeward bound. Right, welcome to Saturday morning. One minute past five. Cows are on their way down to the farm. There it is down there. Now we're actually going to send the cows back to the same field, so the fence is all set up. Just got to change a couple handles, one of which I've already done. So I've grazed this half. I'm going to graze the far half uh, later on. There's a track along the top there that goes um, to the far end. There's a bungee down there called Top Cow Dog Gus. To get into that time of year now where we need the uh, lights on in the morning. You alright Rocky? Oh Rocky dog. Hey mate. Oh good dog. Anyway, I realised I never filmed anything after the topping yesterday, but um, basically just went back and milked in the afternoon. I picked out a couple more cow's feet to do in the afternoon. One that I'm sure I picked out in the morning, but I obviously didn't. Um, just a couple that are going to be dried off, so I wanted to make sure they were done. The end of this week, before Monday when we dry them off. Now, there's obviously a few people on YouTube that do cow's feet. Probably the Hoof GP being the best known one, Nate the Hoof Guy. So I was discussing with Rob whilst he was trimming the cow's feet. Does he want to be known as the Hoof RC or Rob the Hoof Guy? And he said he'd go with the Hoof RC, not because this is initials, but because he said he knows how to get RC. So there we are. Cows are on a bit of a go slow this morning. The, um, the grass has come back really nice now and they're getting quite a bit of it and it just makes them slower. They're not as enthusiastic to come through the parlour. They're hardly getting any cake in the parlour as well. That's like the enticement to come in, but it's not too bad. We'll be down cupping on for 20 past five, I expect. And it won't take very long. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Apologies for not recording like proper videos, but um, it's a, it's a quietish time of year here, obviously with cows going dry. As soon as we get to the end of August and calving starts, it'll be pretty mental, so. There'll be some stuff going on then. Anybody that's going to the Royal Welsh Show, we will be there on the Thursday. Myself, Abby, and a couple of my friends, and my niece, Jess. So if you're there and you see us, make sure you say hello. But uh, for today, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Then please do subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.